Hello. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to compile your GoLambda functions, so that they can use a custom Amazon Linux runtime. Instead of the native Go runtime. Doing this, gives you a couple of benefits. Firstly, your function will have access to Lambda extensions, extending functionality outside of your handler code. Secondly, all languages with a native runtime have an AL2 based runtime with the exception of Go. Upgrading to AL2 is key to ensuring you have the most up to date execution environment. And lastly, the native runtime for Go is split into two programs that communicate via RPC calls. A custom runtime provides an advantage, as your handler code is compiled into the same binary as the runtime code. The benefit is all the RPC logic is removed and the handler code can be directly invoked. Okay, I have a small Lambda project here, opened in Visual Studio Code. We've got a blank make file, so let's start writing the compile commands. First, we'll define a compile target called AL2. Okay, let's write a traditional compile command, defining environment variables for the architecture and OS, followed by the go build command. Specifying the output file as main and including all files. Next, we'll use the zip command to package the file. To remove the RPC code from the executable, we need to add a tag to the build command to instruct the compiler to exclude the RPC wrapper. Finally, I like to use the UPX compressor to compress the executable as much as possible. This reduces the overall package size, lowering lambda cold start times as there is less code to deliver to the execution environment. I've already got Visual Studio configured to run the make command against the AL2 target, so let's press. Control Shift and B to run the build task. As you can see, UPX has made the executable almost 40% smaller. I'll add a link to the UPX website in the video's chat. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the AWS command line utility to upload and publish your Lambda function.